What is going on guys, Tiswafa here, and welcome back to some more Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access. As you can see, we have some baddie slimes over here we got last episode from exploring the Ember Valley, I think it was called, right? Did I finally remember the name of the place? <laughs> I think so. As well as, yeah, you can see we have a Rock Gordo over there too, so hopefully by the end of this episode we can head back there and, uh, you know, have a bunch of heartbeats and explode that guy, so that'd be really good. Uh, and then also, yeah, we, we, and by the way, yeah, last episode, was it the last episode? I think it was. We unlocked this area, the den, which is an expansion of the conservatory, so that's really cool, and it seemed like the perfect place to put the, uh, the baddie slimes, so that's awesome. As well, as you can see, I'm growing the pomegranates over here, so let's actually collect these, uh, actually feed them to these, uh, baddie slimes over here, although, we might want to wait until we actually combine these together with another slime and turn them into a Largo. You know, there's plenty of, uh, pomegranates right there, and they're, they're relatively well fed right now anyways, so... You know, might as well wait until they're a Largus so we get double plorts out of them, right? Because that is going to be their favorite, as well as the other slime's favorite, whenever they uh, turn into a Largo. And speaking of such, I did read you guys' comments last episode. I have them written down right now, and, you know, which ones we're going to be turning into what uh, Largos. And I believe the baddie, we're going to combine together with the ringtail slime. That should be really cool, and I kind of want to experiment around a little bit with uh, the baddie and the... Uh, the tabby and the angler and the ringtail a little bit maybe maybe just keep one or two of them just kind of experiment around a little bit just to kind of like combine different largos together just to see what they're like because i did get some really cool suggestions from you guys last episode and just kind of curiosity is kind of getting the better of me and i'm really wanting to see what they look like like you guys said like one of them would be like a, a ringtail tabby that'd be a really cool looking one uh and then also an angler tabby i think you guys said yeah i think angler tabby like we can't really combine those together. I'm like, we can't, like nothing's stopping us, but it doesn't really make sense to combine them together because they both eat meat. So we're not really taking advantage of, you know, multiple diets and stuff like that. But just out of curiosity, we can see what they look like. Cause this guy's like blue with a little light on his head. <laughs> Cause he's like blinding his friend there. And it'd be really cool to, and yeah, speaking of the angler, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to kind of combine them together with like, say the baddie or even the ringtail because the ringtail, like when he's exposed to sunlight turns to stone. So. Very interested to see, like, what happens when if we combine together a, uh, a ringtail and an angler because they have that light on their head, right? So that'd be really interesting. It did look like, yeah, there is one here that is pretty full. I do have some extra palm granites, so, uh, actually, you know what? Let's actually grab these guys because I said I was going to turn them into bed. Yeah, and also another really good... I guess I've never been inside of the, uh, night... Whatever, whatever this thing is right here that keeps it dark, but I guess it makes sense because it's supposed to keep it dark, keep the sunlight out, so these guys don't turn to stone. And same thing with the phosphorus slimes, right? But yeah, it definitely makes sense to grab the ringtail slimes and take them over to the bat. I almost just called it the bat cave over there, but the den where the actual baddie slimes are, right? Uh, it definitely makes sense to go grab and put them over there because we don't have to worry about like a sun shield or anything like that over there, right? As well, it's going to be right next to the uh, pomegranate tree and whatever these guys get combined together with the baddie slimes, they're going to take pomegranates and actually have them as their favorite food and give us double plorts. Let's expand this to be high walls over here so we actually have more room. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, yeah, you can see my money went up a ton. I did take care of these guys between this episode and last episode. A bunch and, uh, you know, all of my slimes actually and sold a bunch of extra plorts and put a bunch of uh, plorts up inside the refinery as well so you know we have a pretty good setup uh for us to adventure out in this episode without having to do a lot of bidding work but bank, uh place down i'd say five inside of here there you go grab some of the extra plorts over here there you go and then turn these guys into is this going to work with them though hold on oh yes it does oh wow so that's what a ringtail largo looks like now is he yeah he still has a tail he's got wings and a tail and he's purple huh yeah, you guys are right. That turned out really, really cool. There you go. I don't know what happened. To th There's one of them that I haven't transformed just yet. I must have got, yeah, I probably got suctioned up by the, uh, there you go, the port collector, right? So there we go. I'm gonna turn you. There we go. And then they're going to lay down or, uh, eat and drop double plorts. And then the, uh, the regular baddie slimes should be able to eat the, uh, what are they called? Ringtail plorts and turn into Largos as well. So this is going to be really good, you guys. This might actually be like super duper packed in here, unfortunately. I'm going to try and feed exclusively the, uh, and by the way, there is that one that we read about the, the ringtail slimes last episode, I think, right? And they have a thing where you could keep feeding them even after they're full, and they that's basically them stealing the food, right? And by the way, yeah, so I can grab these and actually turn some into uh, Largos manually. Like, yeah, this might be too many of them. What do we have, 15 here? I might get, like, say, three of them. 
Yeah, there we go. I might just get, like, here we go. Three of them. That way we have 12. 12 is a good number. 12 is a great number, I'd say. And maybe we could experiment around with the baddie slimes and, like, say the angler slime. That'd be pretty cool. See what that turns out to be, right? But yeah, hopefully we don't have to worry about them, like, basically eating food, like, constantly, right? Like, like non-stop, even when they're supposed to be full. Because that that's like a ringtail slime thing. Hopefully it didn't transfer over when they turned to the largas, but it probably did, to be quite honest. By the way, before I leave, I was editing last episode, and I saw in the background what looked like a... Where was it? It looked like a, a, a research drone, like up here. Uh, but here we go. Is there a... Yeah, there is right there. That's what that like sound effects I'm hearing is. Yep. There we go. Let's see what he says. Access in gg.log. Oh, mushrooms, my first love. I still remember the day mom told me that they aren't actually plants. I couldn't believe it. After I, yeah, they're like they're, their own thing, right? They're not technically plants. Just like a technical, like, like fungus. Yeah, I think, I think fungus is like the technical name for them, right? <laughs> Anyways, after I got that field guide, I would always sneak into the forest with grandma's old suitcase and collect as many as I could. When she found out, mom was so upset, but I think she was more upset about grandma's suitcase than anything else. Yeah, a random old suitcase full of mushrooms. <laughs> I didn't know it was so special to her, yeah. Well, hey, at least we have a bunch of mushrooms over here, which is really cool, and like cool decoration. And I was kind of thinking while editing last episode too, there is that like root or whatever that we got in the Starlight Strand. That might be a really cool decoration here if I could craft it. Oh, that, yes, yes, that's the sneaky look. I think that does carry over. I think the ringtail, like, being full and stealing food thing, I think that does carry over. That's, like, the same look in the eyes, right? They're giving you the side eye and everything. <laughs> Man! Ah, oh, we're getting scammed by the ringtail slimes even when they're Largos. But yeah, we still have six ringtail slimes in my inventory. We have three baddie slimes. We could experiment around with them by combining them together with, like, say, the taffy slime, the angle slime, all that kind of stuff. As well as, speaking of angler, I did get some comments saying, hey, why don't you combine that together with the baddie slime? And, you know what, that is a pretty interesting suggestion. Like, nothing's really stopping me from making, like, Largos with two of the same slime, I guess you could say, right? We'll sell these floors. I don't really need I already donated a pretty good amount of them to the refinery, so we don't need to keep them, at least right now. Uh, but yeah, we may end up putting the Angler Slimes as a Largo with the Batty Slimes. I also got suggestions for you guys, like the Tabby Slime, that should turn into a uh, Largo with the, like, the Phosphor Slime. I didn't even think about the Phosphor Slime. Like, it definitely makes sense because we haven't even wrangled any of them up, right? So maybe I'll get some uh, phosphor plorts, put them over here and feed them to the tabby slimes, and then move them over here to the old ringtail area. Yeah, because it has the sun shield and they're not going to like die during the daytime. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Man, these guys keep eating the roostros and the hen hens and stuff. Every time I put like roostros and stuff over here for them to like, like multiply, like like what I'm doing over here. <laughs> they eat them all. I must not be putting enough uh, chicken, chickens and, and roostros and whatever else inside of here, unfortunately. Man, there's some, uh, oh yeah, I can't grab that. I don't have the inventory, but here we go. This should be good. Although, I probably, yeah, I probably shouldn't be feeding these guys right now. I should definitely do it whenever we have uh, these guys turn into Largos and I said, yeah, baddie. Whoops, I should have kept some of those plorts over here to turn them into Largos. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> Although I am curious. That one's hungry though. I might feed him. There you go. Just so I don't, like, get too upset and start escaping and stuff, right? But, Batty, I, I guess I'll... Ah, oh, they don't have any... Oh, yeah, they do have floors over here. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll grab some of these, and they'll eat meat and and fruit, which is pretty good, because bat slimes eat fruit, so... I suppose I could do that. Now, if I did do that, I guess, yeah, I'd have to move them over here, huh? Hold on. Yeah, these guys are good here. I guess, I guess I'll just put a sun shield on the tabby thing if we get the phosphor uh, largus for them. So I guess what we do is do this here and how many oh oh that looks so cool now does he die when he's out in the sun that was something i wanted to experience that's something you guys commented last episode too like oh and there you go like especially with the uh ringtail slime like do they still turn into a statue whenever they're out in the sun as a largo that's something i'm curious about too so i suppose we could test that out let's turn us to high walls here and by the way is there any uh wow we have all the upgrades here okay cool hopefully we get more upgrades here in the future oh yep yeah, okay these guys are hungry again but now i can feed them there you go, and I can get double plorts. Not not double double plorts, but, you know, we get a uh, angler. Oh, man, chicken's over here. We get an angler and a uh, fatty plort, which is good. Oh, I still have chicken. I didn't see that chicken hen hen in my inventory right there. <laughs> so there you go. Grab these guys, feed them over here, and then we'll get some of their, uh, there you go, some of their fatty plorts. And we could use those fatty plorts. Uh, where's the, uh, to turn the rest of the angler slimes into uh, largos? All right, so we have, I think, 12 of them in here now, which is really good. We definitely need to get a, a source of food out of it. Maybe I'll get another pomegranate tree, although, didn't we read that the thing needs, like, 
no sunlight or something like that to grow, so maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I'll get a, another coop or something over here and um, get some sea hens. That'll be pretty good. Uh, we have some regular hen hens right here, at least for right now, so that's, that's fine and all, uh, but we definitely need a, a constant source of food for them, right? Oh yeah, and then uh, we do have a tabby slime over here. Actually, yeah, let me grab some plorts, and we can make a ringtail. Yeah, that'd be that'd be a pretty good test we could do. So I could actually put a, a, a tabby... Actually, hold on. Does he want to be a statue? Okay, it, it, I guess it's technically nighttime right now, so he's not a statue, but let's see what the tabby ringtail larga would look like. Oh, yeah, that is really cool. Yeah, I could definitely see why you guys thought it was really like, like a perfect fit, basically. I'm like, at the same time, it looks like just a, a bigger version of a ringtail slime that's gray. Like, it doesn't look too different. I guess, I guess they both have like the pointy ears and like the, the tail and stuff. Well, I guess the tail's bigger. The tail's smaller on the on the tabby slime. They both have the pointy ears and whatnot, but I guess the ringtail slime just has a bigger tail. And I guess it's striped too. Like I don't, I don't think it. Yeah, it's not. No, I guess, yeah, it is. It is striped on the tabby. Yeah, it's just that it's so small you can't really notice it, you know. Uh, but I guess I could feed you some. Hey, I'll get some some of your porch back. There you go. Cool. And he's doing that side eye thing, so it looks like he's about to eat right now. Oh yeah, yeah. No no high walls over here. But if he eats right now, he's not going to give us any porch, I think. Because he's doing that little little thing, like he looks very mischievous, you know? <laughs> yeah, see, look at that, he didn't give any ports, so yeah, definitely want to be careful of that, right? Uh, but I don't know if I'll keep him. I guess I'll just keep him in here, I'm like, may maybe when we come back here, there'll just be a heckin' statue on the ground, although, I don't know how that works whenever there's a, uh, oh yeah, we have a port collector. I don't know how that works whenever there's a, uh, Largo, right? Like, is he still turned to a statue? Because the other stuff carried over to being a Largo, you know, like the mischievous little grin and they keep eating and stop producing ports whenever they're full. Like, that thing carried over to when they're a Largo. I, I assume the statue thing carries over when they're a Largo, too. Well, anyways, we do have we have the Ringtail Batty. We have the Angler Batty. We have Tabby... Oh, yeah, I was going to do Tabby Phosphor, so... This is actually the perfect time for us to go get some uh, Phosphor Slimes, you guys, because uh, we weren't able to do it during the daytime, obviously, right? So, let's actually uh, sell some of the uh, extra ports right here. There you go. And I want to do with the uh, extra Ringtail Slimes I have in my inventory. I guess maybe we could sell them or something... Although, yeah, you guys said Ringtail Angler. That'd be a pretty cool, interesting. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep experimenting over there. Because <laughs> you guys said Ringtail Angler would be pretty cool because, you know, the sunlight's supposed to turn him into in the statue, but the angler has like a light on his head. So that's, that's kind of an interesting thing to think of the background about, right? So I guess I can grab one of these ports real quick. Angler ports. There you go. We just kind of experiment around. Yeah, I don't know. This this episode might be just a little bit different from the other ones where we're like exploring around and all the kind of stuff. I guess we're just experimenting around with Largos because we had so many uh just regular slimes previously, and now we could actually. Wow, that looks amazing! I'm like that. Yeah, that's a really good combination because like the Ringtail is able to eat anything. But yeah, man, this Angler Ringtail did turn out pretty good. At the same time, I'm just going by you guys' comments. A lot of you guys really like the Batty ringtail, and I do too. That turned out really, really awesome, you guys. But for curiosity's sake, this is me just testing them out, right? And then ringtail phosphor, yeah, that's another that's another one you guys wanted me to test out. So I suppose uh, I don't know. I guess I could put the extra ringtail ones there. Just empty out my inventory a little bit. And we can go over to the uh, what's it called, like the Rainbow Valley or whatever over here. Grab some phosphor slimes. Make uh, I guess I can grab some extra fruit over here too, uh, so we can get some other ports and not just the slimes themselves. And we're gonna use that to feed them and uh oh yeah let's check them on a farm because i do want to get those heartbeats to explode that quarter perfect more heartbeats right there and more water less right there yeah looks like my farms are ready to be harvested so uh let me just go around and yeah some of the pink slimes in the background are hungry too so yeah it's been a little while since i uh, checked up on all my slimes let me just do a little bit of a uh, housekeeping i guess you can call it over here oh by the way you guys i was just about to head out to the rainbow whatever oh gee everyone wants to talk to me even bob Okay, well, I guess if I'm going to talk to anyone, I might as well do Bob first. <laughs> there you go. Special delivery. Have a great uh, chickens. Rainbow lumps. Wait, what? Oh, is that just a shorter version of the rainbow like hills or whatever he gave me last time? Hold on. Yeah, because we have that like right here. Oh, yeah. I want to go. I guess I'll, before we leave, we can go down to the lab and see if we can get a uh, another teleport for the conservatory. We can put over in the Ember Valley. That'd be really cool, you guys. Now, I'm like, we did a lot of reading last episode. I don't know if I want to do a bunch of this episode. And like, everyone wants to talk to me. And I was already doing a bunch of like Largo stuff earlier. So maybe we'll read all that stuff next episode. I, I just want to go out and get some phosphor slimes and plorts and whatnot. But uh, before we go, what do we need to get another conservatory teleport thingy? Oh, yeah. Here are the decorations, by the way. So, uh, so this, we yeah, got Rainbow Mound. That's the one that we have already, I think. Oh, wait. Did he just give me a straight up rainbow? That might have been what he did. Hold on. 
like an actual rainbow mound that I could just place down. Yeah, he gave me rainbow lumps I could just place down right now. He didn't give me a recipe. Huh. Okay, I guess we can place that down somewhere. I don't think I'm going to do it down here in the lab, though, but let's go over here to the yellow home portal. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yellow home portal. Oh, I guess I can only make one? Yeah, it seems like I can only make one. I guess I need to get another recipe or something? I don't know. Refinery link, pink warp depot. Yeah, I thought I had the recipe, so uh, I was able to make like unlimited of these as long as I had the ingredients, but I guess not. Man, and it is still nighttime. It's almost 4 a.m. It's going to turn to the daytime here very soon, so I don't want to fool around here. I want to get some. Uh... Oh, there you go. OK, there's a phosphor right there. So let me. Uh... Oh, and there's another one. And just feed him a random poke fruit. Man, feed him a random poke fruit. Get some plorts and then I'll actually suction you up. So there you go. There's one. OK, so I, I think we have this set up now. Now we can go home and actually make some tabby, uh, tabby phosphor largos, which is good. So we have five, six. We only have two tabbies at home. Maybe I'll get like eight of these guys. Yeah. Oh, man, those guys are already uh, largos. But there you go. OK, so we have 10 of them right now, which is awesome. I suppose I can go home. Yeah, you know what? Let's go home. It's about to turn daytime right now. Let's go do those experiments. I wanted to, you know, see if the ringtail slime turns into a statue, if it's a Largo and all that kind of jazz, you know? So uh, let me just head back there real quick. I think it technically turns to daytime at 6 a.m. So it's about to turn to daytime here in just a bit. Okay, it's 5.52. Are these guys doing, going to turn into statues? Because there's no protection from the sun. And... Oh! It's six. Oh, oh, it did. Oh, they did. Yeah, even the Largos. I guess, the, OK, the Largos are basically the same stat. I, I was hoping that maybe it'd be like a, an angler ringtail looking statue, but no. So can I suck? Yeah, I can't even suction them up in my inventory, unfortunately, man. All right, well, I guess that answers our question there. Like what happens to a Largo ringtail and rail ringtails and, and during the daytime and all that kind of stuff. And they, I, I guess I could test out on these guys, too, because I did make an extra one. So are these guys going to like die out in the sun or or what angler because he is half batty. I don't think the baddies need to be in a dark area. Seems like he's fine. Doesn't, it doesn't seem like he just like extinguishes like the foster slime or turns into a statue like the ringtail slime. Seems like he just doesn't like it, I guess. Or maybe because he's a Largo, he's fine with it. I don't know. I guess I could put him back. So uh, whoop, there you go. Now over here, uh, we have the tappy slimes and all the kind of stuff. Let's actually upgrade this with high walls as well as the solar shield. There it is right there. Now, is that everything? Yes. Everything is fully upgraded over here, which is good. So uh, and then we have the chickens over here, too. So we'd feed these guys either fruit or chickens. And speaking of such, another one there, another one over here, another one. Oh, man, there's a there's like two deep brine uh, locations over here. You guys cool. I, I definitely want to go check out that other location, see if we have more deep brine right now, you guys. But it's actually turning these guys. Well, they're, they're full, though, so we're not going to eat, unfortunately. But uh, any tabby? I guess I put the chickens back in there. Yeah, okay, so we, let's grab some of the tabby plorts, use those to turn these guys into Largos. We have eight in our inventory right now, so. Uh, the solar, yes, the solar shield is working, so these guys are not going to die, which is awesome. Let's feed them some tabby plorts. There we go, awesome. Oh man, they're already transforming like crazy right now, you guys. Cool. And now they can actually eat all these chickens in here. Any more uh, regular tabby or regular phosphor? I think we got them all right there, you guys. Cool. If not, then eventually they're going to transform because there's just so many of them in there, right? But it seems like 10 is a good number. 12 is kind of pushing it. 15, yeah, I definitely want to stray away from that, right? I think that's how many we have a uh, pink cotton Largos, right? <laughs> so definitely want to be careful with that. But now we actually have a source of phosphor ports, which is awesome. So let me grab those. I guess I'll grab some of the tabby ports, too. And there's plenty of chickens in there for them to eat. So don't need to worry about that. And yeah. That just kind of goes to show chickens are going to be good for both these guys as well as those guys over there. Maybe I'll convert this to a coop or that into a coop. And of course, we find chickens just naturally spawning anyways. So this is a really good place for like meat eaters. I guess you could describe them as right. Oh, yeah. Another thing I, I wanted to because we have so much money now, like basically 10 times the money that we need to unlock this. Yeah, the tide pools oh, almost 10 times. We have 32,000 cost 3,500. Let's, let's unlock the tide pools and I guess we can move over to the uh, puddle slimes over here. So. What does this look like? It was like around this corner. Yeah, right here. So this is going to be a perfect place to put the puddle slimes. There's a lot of P like alliteration right there. So we can put them over here and I guess we'll be fine. And I assume four is still the limit, even in a tide pool like this. And I think there's a second one over here, right? So we'd have technically eight. Yeah. So we have another one here. I guess if we put uh, some puddle slimes over there, we have six in total, I think right now. But I guess maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe I can get rid of this. Yeah, so we have uh, chickens. 
I guess I'll put them over here because these guys are pretty hungry. Just to empty out my inventory as well as feed those guys, yeah. Uh, but I guess we'll put the chicken coop in that front bit over there. That'll be really good. And uh, we can grab the puddle slimes and move them over to the tide pools. Uh, that, that'll work out pretty well. So uh, let me grab these guys. I'm not going to grab the reports because I don't have the inventory space. Let's move these guys over. I guess if we turn their uh, old... And yeah, look at this. It's a lot bigger. Hopefully I like this area better. Super beautiful over here too. I like this. Really good view. And I wonder if we're going to get more, like maybe a silky sand like thing here. Kind of like we got deep brine uh, things coming out of the ground in that other area with the chickens. I wonder if that's going to be the case there. But for right now, let's actually grab up the floors and get rid of this puddle or pond or whatever you want to call this over here. And we'll turn it into a chicken coop. It's going to be really easy to fill this area up with chickens because it literally spawns chickens like right around. So uh, there you go. Demolish that. We're going to start from scratch. Get a chicken coop in here. I guess fully upgraded, huh? There you go. Get another coop. And we'll just give it, yeah, high walls. Did we ever fully upgrade the, uh, like, spring ground? I don't know if we ever did that with the other chicken coop. We probably did. No, I get, yeah, I don't think we have the elder collector. Yeah, because I always have to pick them up manually, yeah. I guess while we're at it, and we have so much egg and money, let's actually go, uh, upgrade the other chicken coop. And, uh, maybe grab a rooster or two, and, uh, maybe one or two other, uh, of, of each type of chicken over there, just because it has everything. It has briar, rock, or not rock, stony hens, and regular hen hens, right? And, and sea hens, too. Uh, so anyways, right now, we already have a bunch of uh, tabby pores, but I think I'm going to donate all of the phosphor pores because I don't think we have those downstairs, as well as the deep brine, just to get some inventory space back. And whenever we're done, I guess we're going to go over to the uh, Ember Valley real quick. Uh, unfortunately, without a teleport to come back home immediately, it seems like I need something to unlock the ability to make another one or something. I don't know. Maybe they only maybe in early access, they only let you get one or something. I don't know. And yeah, I guess I can grab some of the puddle slimes over here. Move them over the tide pools because I'm going to be moving them. Uh, I'm going to go that direction anyway. So uh, let me do all this. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. And I'll turn it into another silo, although I'm only using like and not, I'm not even using two. I'm just using this right here on the silo. So I have plenty of room right here. I might just leave this like as is till we uh, figure out what to do with it, you know, but oh, yeah, my crops need to be harvested again, man. All right. Well, it seems like it's another uh, time for me to do some busy work real quick. So let me just do that. Move these guys over to the tide pool. Uh, puddle slimes over the tide pool. Move over chickens to a new coop over there as well as uh, make sure this is fully upgraded. Uh, we don't even have the spring grass. We have so many chickens in there. We don't have vitamizer or spring grass. Oh my gosh, I guess it's just the power of numbers working there, you guys. It's going to be even more crazy now that we have the Vitamizer and spring grass. Attracts scuttlebugs that uh, when the chickens grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast. And allowing to produce eggs twice as fast. Golly. Yeah, you'd think we already had that looking at all the egg and chickens we have here, but I guess not, huh? Golly. So uh, let me grab all them real quick and I'll grab some uh, roosters too. And yeah, that's what the, uh, the elder, like, chick or elder hen like collector thing he looks like it's got a little tv right here so they can watch the news and all that kind of stuff we got roosters right there regular hen hens stony hens and i guess i could feed the extras over to these guys because i'm sure they're hungry right yeah but let me do all that busy work i was just talking about and i'll see you guys here in just a bit all right guys i'm back and i was heading back to the little ember valley like teleport thingy i was remembering you know what there's this area over here that we discovered before we got the jetpack, and I was curious about it. And I was like, you know what? I need to come back here when we have the jetpack. Just a little bit deep, Brian. Might as well grab that. So let's actually see what's over here. It looks like just one of those little little vases you just throw on the ground and explodes, right? Blip. Oh wow, three stony hen. That's not bad. I guess I'll grab them. Is there anything else in here? Nothing. There's nothing in here this whole time, except for that little like vase thing. But what's that over there? Is there anything up there? I'm like, like I keep saying, I'm like, it's early access. They probably have something planned with that, but. For right now. Oh, whoa, it's an actual cave. Wait, what? How did I not notice there's an actual cave right there this whole time? Oh, wait, hold on. Um. <laughs> why does this look like something's in it? Like, lights up whenever I step on it, right? It's not lit up right now. Yeah, it lights up whenever I step on it. Um, yeah, and speaking of early access and them, you know, continuing to work on the game and stuff. I wonder what that's going to be. It's obviously not like a Gordo thing, because there's I haven't been there yet, and there's no Gordo standing on top of it right now, so I wonder what it is. I guess we'll find out later, huh? But for right now, I guess that answers... I was about to say that answers some questions, but honestly, it gave me more questions. <laughs> like, what is this? What is it going to be used for? I don't know. Is it another... It, honestly, yeah. Now that I think about it, it's probably going to be another teleporter. They're probably going to put another, like, islands up here. Yeah, look at all this room. There's plenty of room for them to put some up there, and I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't, they don't usually put things too close to the uh, conservatory or uh, 
the main area, right? But yeah, this has definitely got to be like, I bet they're working on an entire island over here. And this is like just the teleport over to it, huh? That's got to be what that is. Yeah, here's this. Here's the little, little, little teleporter thing. This looks exactly like the thing we just looked at. It just didn't have this little animation of like a pillar coming out of it, right? Yeah, that's definitely what that is. It's just kind of a placeholder. I'm not seeing where we actually. Oh, wait, no, this is it right here. Yeah, and then there's that ringtail slime. Wait, isn't it night or day? Oh, it's about to turn today. So this guy's about to turn into a statue like right in front of me, huh? It's about to turn 6 a.m. He's about to eat his last chicken before he goes to bed. Oh, man, he's really hungry. Oh, you might as well hurry up and eat that guy. Here you go. There you go. So you get hibernate. And it's 6.04. Is he about to turn? Ah! <laughs> he jumped in and turned into a statue mid-jump. <laughs> That was awesome. All right, love it. he's sticking his tongue out at me. Oh, he's, he's got a friend over here. Oh, well, there you go. All right, so we'll somewhere over here, I know. Let's explode that just for here. A batty slime. I get, oh, yeah, that was because I was going to test batty uh, foster. So I might as well grab the uh, regular batty slime so we could actually test that later in the episode, right? There you go. Feed him head on. And because it's his favorite food, he only needs to eat 25 of them instead of a full 50, right? So there you go. He's got like a thing on this. Oh, it's just a small little crystal or a small little rock on the side of him. And there you go, exactly enough, he's about to explode, and... Oh man, all the right. oh! It's a thing that launches you in the air! Wait, where's that gonna take? Oh, what the Oh, angler slime, I was about to say, why are there batty slimes coming down from the ceiling? <laughs> that's cool, hold on, so let's grab some primordial oil, that's perfect for us, because we just unlocked the ability to, uh, or, you know, we just found those for the very first time. There's more pomegranate, yeah, there's pomegranates growing right there, which is good, but... I'm like, we, we're already growing at home. Where's God? Oh! I was about to say, there's gotta be something. Yep, yeah, there's a treasure pod right there. Cool. We have plenty of a uh, jetpack. Yep. Let's see what this is. What's this treasure pod? Probably like a coral or Azure Glow Shrooms. Wait, why is that stuff over here? We got the Azure, aka like blue stuff, in this area. And the Starlight Strand exclusively, it seems. So I guess you can get anything anywhere. That's kind of random. Although, Azure. Well, that's not that, yeah. It's got like little. Like blue trees on top of I don't know where that thing is that they're talking about. <laughs> While we're in the area, I guess we could explore around a little bit and see if we'd find more primordial oil and Oh, is that Oh strange Oh wait, no, that's an odd onion. Yeah, I thought that was an odd or a strange onion, but what yeah, that reminds me so two episodes ago. It might have been multiple oh geez, slime see. Might have been uh, multiple people actually not thinking about it that commented that there's a strange diamond basically where the hunter gordo was in that cave, you know, that little cave that's behind the hunter gordo. Or I guess in front of it, depending on which direction you come from, just like I did. But I wonder if it's still there. It's got to be still there. I, hopefully it doesn't despawn, right? But I'm just kind of like exploring around right now, hoping that we could find more Primordy oil. And thus far, I don't really have any. Like, although right here, hold on. Yeah, this was another cave. I bet you could find boom slimes, crystal slimes, etc. in here, huh? Maybe even a Gordo. Is there a Gordo in here? This is a long, winding hallway. Oh, wait, no, there's nothing in here. What the? Oh, wait, oh, yeah, we never rode the, uh... Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, we got the crystal science finally, but... I guess I get rid of... Oh, whoops. Nah, I don't... Like, it's not that big of a deal if I get rid of the roosters, but... Let's grab the crystal slimes. Cool! Crystal slime. It's as clear as shiny. Transparent rocks that these slimes are dangerous. Wait, what? It's as clear as shiny. Transparent rocks that these slimes are dangerous. Does that make sense? I don't know. It doesn't make sense for me for some reason. Maybe I'm just uh, not really paying too much attention. <laughs> I'm just so distracted trying to grab all these... Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, that was a puddle. I thought that was something new, but no. At least we Oh, yeah, yeah. You definitely want to be dangerous. Yeah, like they were talking about they could be dangerous uh, whenever they have crystals coming out of them. Or, you know, crystal like on the ground and stuff like that. So if I want to be careful, stuff like that. But uh, and then there's rock signs there. Where are we, by the way? Oh, wow. Yeah, let's keep our eyes peeled for a map updater while we're in there. Oh, and by the way, yeah, since last episode, we went... Oh, oh, oh. We went behind a waterfall. I don't know if there's anything behind that waterfall. There's there's definitely something up there. So how did I get up there? This thing? I guess we could test and, and see where this takes us. Oh, wow. Look at that rock baddie Largo right there. Cool. Well, it didn't even launch us that high in the air. What in the world? Well, it's probably because it wasn't on it the entire time. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, nah. There we go. Oh, geez. There's already a tar here. Hey, at least I got a little bit of water. Yeah, you can get water from that stuff down there. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, that guy's dazed, unfortunately. Oh, no, the oh, there's the map. Oh, perfect. See what this looks like. Oh, wow. There's like a small little mini island right there and like a little like oasis or something right there at the top of the mountain. Huh? Was this more? Yeah, more pomegranate. 
more and more crystal sign. Right, well, we have five right now. Six sounds like a great number to stop at for those guys. At least. Oh, there's a Gordo back there. Is that a Tabby? And they like they like meat. Tabby, I think, like Stony, right? As his favorite. Oh, there's a. What's that? I keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, this stuff, but we have a lot of it at home. I don't know if I want to empty my. I, I guess I. Yeah, you know what? I might as well. And there's primordial oil, oil, primordial oil right there. I guess to take advantage of the uh, roostros, you know, even though we're not going to take advantage of them at home to put it in the new chicken area. We only have two roostros in that area right now, unfortunately. Three would have been a good number, uh, but I guess I'd put them to use by putting them over here. And it looks like there's a treasure pot or a research drone over there as well. So let's get some stamina. There you go. Seems like it goes down too. Definitely want to. Oh, wow. Yeah, this this guy goes to another teleport. Yep. Yeah. But it's, I bet it's not going to activate when we explode him. I bet it's just like a, a placeholder thing, placeholder thing, just like the other one, huh? Let's see what this research drone has to say, by the way. And, oh, man, there's a thing behind him, too. Probably have to end off the episode here pretty soon, honestly. Accessing GD.log. When I left the ranch, when I left my home, I thought that somehow I would prove myself, that I would prove to my parents that my choice was the right one and that they would forgive me for not continuing their legacy. But that's not how it worked out. And before I started my journey, I heard that they had sold the ranch, and, and I just couldn't face them. So... I left again without seeing them. I regret that choice every day. I wish I could have said goodbye. Oh, this guy's like regretting like adventuring around here, but at the same time, like you're also reading things where they're like really liking the adventure and all the kind of stuff. But oh, it's just one of those things that launches you up. But I guess if you fall down, you have to ride a bunch of these things back up or something. Is that what this is? Oh, it's a treasure pod down here. Let's see what this is. I don't know, maybe a bunch of rocks or something. I don't know. <laughs> Or maybe a, uh, oh, the blue warp depot. Okay, cool. What was I doing over here that I was like, oh, I need, the oh yeah, this stuff. Uh, whatever this stuff is called that I always forget the name of. I need to like write it down, honestly, it's crazy. Uh, what's it, Radiant Ore. I keep wanting to call it Ion Cube because it kind of looks like the Ion Cubes from the, uh, the first game, except they're, those are green and these are like bluish, purplish, like rainbowish colors. Uh, but for right now, we have a good amount of crystal signs. Haven't come across those boom signs yet, unfortunately. Uh, but definitely let me know in the comments down below what we should do with the crystal. Oh, jeez! Speaking of crystal slime, there's a crystal gordo right there. Doesn't he like the odd onion, or is that the boom one that likes the odd onion? Yeah, he okay, he likes the vegetables, so I guess he does like the odd onion, huh? Uh, the boom one likes what? I forget. Oh, wait, hold on. Where am I? Okay, so I have to go up behind me to go up to some... Wait, how do you get... Oh, yeah. I bet the way to go up there. By the way, is there anything? I don't know if there's anything behind that waterfall. Probably have to explode this guy, and then there's going to be a water launcher geyser. Yeah, he's on top of a geyser right now. And that's how you get all the way up to that oasis or whatever over there. Yeah. And I, I might as well go around this way, just so we could explore some more stuff and maybe you can get another map updater and have a fully updated map for the, the Ember Valley. That'd be really good, you guys. Is it called? I think it is called Ember. What is that big thing right there I just saw a second ago, by the way? This thing. Well, this wraps around to the area we already know, so we're, yeah, probably have to go and do the, explore that on its own episode, but I'm curious about this big thing. He's like, okay, it seems like you have to go from there, but can I, like, go this away so I can get closer to this thing? It's like a big pillar, but it's on its side or something. I don't know if, uh, and by the way, there's, like, a pathway up here, too. Oh, wait, hold on, can I actually go to the map? Yeah, I think you can actually, I don't need to explore that Gordo. Boom, I'm up here already? <laughs> hold on, so what's up here? Just curiosity's sake. This episode is probably super duper long. I'm going to end it off here pretty soon anyway, so I don't have to split it into multiple. Whoa! Oh, this is... We found Boom Slime territory. This has got to be Boom Slime territory. Where are they? A lot of puddle slimes right here, though. you think they wouldn't like this area, but at the same time, this is a big area here. There's more than four of them. Q-berries around here. Yeah, oh yeah, Q-berry. Isn't that the favorite of the, uh... It's the favorite of Phosphor. I don't know if it's the favorite of the Boom Slime. I, I forget what he likes. It might be meat. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't seen him yet. Like, this guy, like, like, we're at the volcano or something, right? Oh, we know the volcano. Yeah, the volcano's in the background, but this could be another volcano, too. Maybe a dormant one. Because there's, like, lava or whatever down there, but I don't know where the actual boom slime is. Oh, man. I guess the boom slime is probably, like, actually. Yeah, in this cloud area. That's gotta be where it is, huh? Man. There's more radiant ore right there, though. Anything else behind the waterfall? Doesn't seem like it. I guess I'll grab that, but. Yeah, man, I was expecting boom slimes here because we saw, like, volcanoes or something. Well, like, these things. It, it just looked like it, you know, but I guess they're not here. I have to go all the way. Oh, jeez. 
I have to go all the way over there, I bet, huh? And yeah, you can, wow, yeah, you can see lava, like, falling down there. There's like a geyser right there. Gotta be careful. Ooh. Yeah, look at this view. And in the background, you can see the starlight strand, that, that big tree, with the stuff in the sky there, too. Really cool. Anyways, that's definitely going to be next episode, you guys. Uh, definitely want to end off this episode right here. I did want to experiment around a little bit with the, uh, the baddie slimes and the foster slimes and all that kind of jazz. Unfortunately, don't think we have the time to do it. But uh, maybe right now, I'll just kind of head this away and wrap around all the way to the entrance and head back home. And uh, Be sure to leave comments down below. What should I do with these uh, crystal slimes? Because, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll combine them together with the uh, angler slimes. Because the, the, the crystal slimes, they eat vegetables. The angler slimes eat meat. So it's a good combination in that sense. So we can actually take advantage of multiple diets, right? But yeah, we already have like a baddie angler largo and then a baddie raintail largo. So it doesn't really matter if I get rid of the, the current baddie anglers and turn them into angler crystals. If you guys think that's a really good idea. But I, I don't want to influence you guys too much. So be sure to leave some comments down below on what I should do with these crystal slimes. Like what largo should I make with them? And while you're down there, be sure to give thumbs up to comments you guys think are really good. That way I can see which ones are very popular amongst you guys, just like I did with this episode. I went through the comments of last episode to see what Largos we should make this episode, and the likes that you gave those comments actually influenced the Largos we made this episode. But anyways, I might as well just end off this episode right here so we can start looking forward to next episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access comes out. So yeah, don't miss it. Looks like I have a lot more work ahead of me, you guys, with all these crops. And geez, I need to sell all these plorts and stuff over here too. Golly, there's a lot ahead of me here, you guys. But for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access. Oh, bye there.